you feel? Much better. I just sleep in that chair. Fine. I hope you have an appetite. Ryan, you're spoiling me. Right. I just want you to feel better. Well, I feel much better. Like, I really think that shot the doctor gave me did the trick. Good, because I was worried about you. So did you hear from your brother? No, not a word. I thought we'd been able to put our past behind us, but he just blew me off again. Open up. Hello? Hold on, I'm coming. Louise, where's my sister? Teresa! Teresa! Where is she? Louise. I will definitely get used to this kind of luxury. I want them here now. Good morning, Teresa. Mama, what are you doing? Why are you in that uniform? I'm working. No, no, not anymore, you're not. You are my mother. You are nobody's maid. You live here now. I am the housekeeper, and I will not live here. Didn't you sleep in the guest room? No. I slept at Grace's bed and breakfast. I will never move into this evil house. Hear anything interesting? Don't scare me like that. Please. So have you given up on your idea of getting Teresa to confess to killing Julian? No, not at all. In fact, everything is right on track. Now, we have to wait for the baby to be born, of course. But very soon, Teresa Lopez Fitzgerald is going to be sitting in the electric chair, just sizzling like a crispy chimichanga. Brian, I'm sure there's a good reason why your brother checked out last night without telling you. Yeah, but like what? I mean, he was in the room right next door to us. How hard was it for him to come down here and knock on the door and tell us that there was an emergency? Or at least he could have phoned, left a note. I don't understand it either, I and mean, he seems so willing to let bygones be bygones. I guess he had second thoughts. I knew that he'd never get over how mad that he was when I left Harmony in the first place. Harmony? You know, maybe something came up with the family as some sort of problem, and that's why he had to leave right away. Well, if that's the case, then that's even more reason for him to get in touch with me. I mean, at least I could have gone with him. I've been able to help out. I'm really surprised and disappointed in him. He really seemed like a nice guy. Yeah, he did, didn't he? Yeah, I and mean, he was even trying to make an effort to connect with me. I, I can't imagine what could have come up to make him just run out of here without calling or, or leaving some kind of message. No, he didn't do that. He didn't leave a message, he didn't leave a note, he didn't leave anything. Mama, I'm not doing this just for me. I, I'm doing this for you. <laughs> For all of us, I, 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 don't, I don't want you to work anymore. I want you to live here like a lady. You, you have servants yourself instead of being one. Teresa, I know that you think you're doing the right thing, but I've told you before I will not profit from the Crane Blood money. And how you can even think of living here, you can almost sense the evil in this house. Mama, that's silly. How can a house be evil? Because I have worked here for many years, and I know the unhappiness it has brought to everyone who's lived here. Even death. Look at poor Ivy's life. Huh? And Ethan and Julian and Sheridan. It is... I, God, it's, it's like the air in this house is poisonous. Oh, now you're being ridiculous, Mama. This house is absolutely fabulous. Well, 
you know, it will be after I redecorate it. But just think about it, Mama. We'll all be together again. Miguel, Luis, Paloma, you and me living the lifestyles of the rich and famous. Stop it. Just stop your idiotic fantasies. You are going to be a mother. And it is time you start thinking like a grown-up and live in the real world for your own child's sake. That's exactly what I am doing, Mama. Okay, the reality is I am Julian Crane's widow and all of this is mine now. Oh, yes, until Ethan files for an appeal and the judge rules Ivy is the legal Mrs. Crane. And Ethan will win, Miha. How can he win, Mama? The judge sided with me the first time. Why would it change? I don't know, but... All I know is that I have a very bad feeling about all of this. About you claiming to be Mrs. Julian Crane and about you trying to use this to somehow get Ethan back. I told you, Mama. Once I have the Crane billions, I will give it all back to Ethan. And then he will want me back. Really? Teresa, he has told you that it's over. I beg of you, please. Leave this house before your baby is born. It is not good for your baby to be here. Now, if you stay, it's not going to turn out like you want. It will only bring you and the people you love great pain and heartache. Teresa should listen to her mama, but she won't. So she is going to end up a statistic of New England light and power. I still don't understand how you think you're going to have Teresa arrested, convicted, and executed for Julian's murder. You'll see. Don't be coy, Rebecca. Just give me details. All in good time. Look, if I'm going to have anything to do with this plan, I need to know everything about it. I need to know what you're going to do. Luis, calm down. I'm completely calm. I just want to get my sister out of this house. Teresa! Teresa! Where are you? Oh, Luis! Thank goodness. I hope you can talk some sense into that sister of yours. Hey, she's acting like a crazy person, just barging in here, trying to take control, threatening to throw us out into the street. Mother, once I file the appeal, you'll get your house back. Good. I hope you win. And I hope that you can throw her out on a confused little behind. On second thought, I'll save you the trouble. Do it myself. Now, where is she? Teresa! Teresa, open the door. Luis will give you some privacy. Mijo, so glad you're back. Yeah, not a moment too soon, huh? Luis! Wait till you hear what happened. I've got so much to tell you, so much good news. Yeah, well, if you think good news is being in this house, then you're wrong. Louise, wait. Start packing. I want you out of here. Uh, Louise, you don't understand. Let me explain well, to you. Well, fine. If happened. you're not going to do it yourself, I'll do it for you. All right, Becky. I want to know what's your plan to get rid of Teresa? Well, I've already taken the first step. It's time for you to take the next one. What do you want me to do? I want you to call the governor. I mean, he's a family friend of yours, isn't he, from the days when your father was the governor? That's right, so... So, I want you... to complain to the governor that our illustrious chief of police has done nothing to find out who murdered your husband. <laughs> I'm not going to get Sam in trouble. Look, all you have to do is ask the governor to light a fire under him. I mean, most of the suspects in this murder case are, are people we know or love. Do we really want to know who killed Julie? You bet we do. I guess my brother's the same hot-headed guy he's always been. But if he's such a hothead and he got upset about something, wouldn't he have banged on the door and wanted a confrontation? Knowing my brother, I don't know. But it had to be something. I... Maybe I said something that offended him. Like what? No, you know, I'm sure it is nothing that you said or did. I just thought we were making so much headway. I don't know. Well, let's try to think back to last night. Think if there was something that might have happened. 
Well, when the night started out, we were having a great time. And then you had your coughing fit. I took you to the doctor to make sure that you were going to be OK. Turned around, I looked for my brother and his girlfriend. They were gone, vanished into thin air. Luis, stop it. Mijo, you don't know how glad I am that you're back. Yeah. Well, I came as soon as I heard about the fire at our house. Well, that is what I've been trying to tell you, Luis. We don't have a home. We, we can't go home. The house is pretty badly damaged, and, and I don't know if we can rebuild it. And that's why I have to stay here, and I want you to stay here, too, and Mama and Miguel to know. But you're nuts if you think I'm going to spend one night in this damn house. I've already told her that I won't live here. That's right. Look, we'll rebuild the house as soon as the insurance pays off. Meanwhile, we'll stay at Grace's B&B. I've got some savings. We'll be fine, OK? Actually, mijo, that there's something you should know. About the insurance. What, you haven't filed the claim yet? No. Well, I'll take care of it, OK? No, that's just it. You can't take care of it. Why not? What's wrong, Mama? We don't have insurance, mijo. What? Security? Yes, is Charles there? Charles! It's Rebecca Crane. Uh, could you come over to the main house and bring it with you? <laughs> Good. I'll see you soon. I can't believe you're still calling yourself Rebecca Crane. <sighs> it is time for you to go cool your jets in the kitchen. Oh, the kitchen? No. Okay, whatever. The library then, okay? What's going on, Rebecca? <sighs> Ivy, I need a little privacy since I am the one doing all the dirty work around here. What's going on with you and Charles? And what's the it he's bringing? You'll find out. a tramp, Rebecca, but really, strip-searching security? You can stop the holier-than-thou thing, Ivy. One of us has to lay the necessary groundwork for this operation. Well, I'm sure you did a fine job laying something. <sighs> can we not snipe at each other? We are in this together. Although I'm doing all the hard work here, so I don't see why I should share the rewards with you. Oh, all right, all right, well, what's that you're holding? It's a video cassette that Charles gave me. And it's just what we need to put Teresa in the electric chair. <laughs> what could possibly be on that videotape that would incriminate Teresa? You'll see. Just call the governor. I'm not calling the governor until I see what is on the videotape. There's a VCR in the library. Oh, all right. But first, I'm going to go get the box this came in. I don't want anyone seeing this little bomb just yet. Well, we had a good homeowner's policy. And now you're telling me we don't have insurance? How did this happen? Louise, the rates went up because of crime in the neighborhood. And since Teresa wasn't working, money... So why didn't right. you tell me? Because I, I didn't want to worry you. I, I thought that I could save enough to have it reinstated before I had to tell anyone. So they canceled our policy? Yes, I, I am so sorry. It's not your fault. I just wish you would have told me, you know what? So where are you and Miguel staying, anyway? Miguel is um, at the Bennetts, and I'm staying at the B&B in Ethan's room since he's here to be with his mother. See, this 
This is crazy for us to be scattered all over town. That is why that you should all come here and live with me. Luis Paloma can come home from Amberia's and we can be together again as, as a family. I'd rather spend a night in jail than sleep here. Oh, don't let your macho pride keep you from living in a wonderful this home. This has nothing to do with macho pride. This, this place is nothing but terrible memories for me. The gazebo that Papa built before he disappeared. The cottage where I spent so much time with Sheridan before she drowned. Everywhere I look is terrible memories. I'm sorry. Lisa, I know that you still love Sheridan with all of your heart and that you believe somehow she will come back to you. No, actually, I don't. Not anymore. You don't? No. Going down to Bermuda where I lost Sheridan was actually good for me. I, I still felt her presence everywhere, but it was like she was telling me that it was okay to move on. I know now that Sheridan's gone, and I'm moving on with my life. With Beth. I'm sorry to intrude. I'll come back later. Oh, no, no. You can stay. Hey, I really want to go to the beach. Are you sure you're up for it? Yeah, I feel fine. I really would like to go take a nice long walk and get some fresh air with you. Is that okay? Yeah, if you're up for it, I'm up for it. Good. I'll go change it and I'll be back in a minute. Sorry to interrupt. Uh, Teresa, I wonder if I could have a word with you. Of course, Ethan. Yeah. Well, why don't we go down to the library and talk there? All right. I'll be back. Don't do anything until I get back, okay? I hope you can talk some sense into your sister. I thought she'd grown up. Still living in a fantasy world, isn't she? Yeah. And I, I know the only reason she wants to stay here is to be near Ethan. Well, didn't he tell her the relationship was over? Yeah, but you know your sister, she refuses to believe it. Oh, Joy, she's just setting herself up for more heartache. I know, and I'm very worried about her. And Miguel is younger, so she won't listen to him. So, Luis, it's up to you. Mm. Please, uh, just try to talk some sense into her, make her listen. If Antonio were here, oh. it would be his job. Have I got some great news? Mama, I ran into Antonio in Bermuda. You did? Yes. Oh, my God. Well, where is he? Why didn't you bring him back to Harmony? You said that if you saw him again, you'd bring him back. I know, I know, I know, I know. But well, with the fire, Beth and I, we took the first plane out. We were in such a hurry. I left him a note. And I'm surprised that actually he isn't here by now. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you open it and see? Maybe it's from your brother. Well, I'm almost scared to read it and see what he said. Oh, it's from the ball last night, from the hotel photographer. Hey, it's a picture of us dancing. It's obvious you're very much in love. <laughs> Wait a minute, that's not me. That's you and my brother. Oh, you're right. <laughs> You know, you two look a lot alike in the masks. So, so you ready? Yep, I'm ready. Oh, you know what? I, I think I left my sunglasses on the balcony. Oh, I think mine are out there, too. I don't care what they say. These two people look very much in love to me. I just need you to sign this paper. Oh. What, what's the paper? Well, it just says that you're aware of the fact that I'm filing for an appeal on my mother's behalf. It's just a formality. All right. Thank you. 
Hill being in this room. This house, it reminds me of the time that we spent together. How happy we were. I think how happy we could be again if, if we lived here side by side. Teresa, what is going through your head? You know I'm filing for an appeal, and I'm not going to give up until I get my mother's name back. She is the legal Mrs. Julian Crane, and this is her house. Ethan, I know that you feel obligated to help her. Uh, Teresa, it's more than an obligation. It's the right thing to do. But you're going to lose. I mean, you've already lost once. I don't think I'm going to lose again. I mean, it, it doesn't make sense why the judge granted you claim to the Crane name and fortune. You had absolutely no evidence to support your side. I don't know why you're being so mysterious about what's on the videotape that could put Teresa in the chair. Shh! You don't know who might be listening. Oh. Teresa? You okay? Yeah. I, uh... I feel a little dizzy. Well, here. Get you some water. Thanks for being so concerned about me. Well, of course I'm concerned about you. I don't want anything to happen to you or the baby. Sweet to me. Look, I know we're on opposite sides legally, but I still care about you. I only want the best for you and your baby. That's what makes you so wonderful. Are you telling me that that videotape actually shows who fired the gun that killed Julian? That's what I'm telling you. And you're convinced it will put Teresa away? No doubt whatsoever. Well, as much as it pains me to say it, Rebecca, thank you. I know we've had our differences, but I definitely owe you one. You most certainly do. Now, Yes. This is Ivy Winthrop Crane. And I would like to know exactly what the governor's doing to find my husband's killer. Bueno, mijo, a ver, dime. <laughs> Did Antonio look well? Is he happy? Does he have a wife? Mama, <laughs> he's fine, okay? Uh, he's not married yet, but he is dating this woman. And, uh, well, from what he says, uh, I think she's the one. The one? As in forever? Well, he seems to think so. Her name is Diana. Did you meet her? Yes. Uh, we were actually staying at the same hotel, and there was this masked ball, and we, we actually danced together. Oh. But well, the music was loud, and uh, she was sick, and so we didn't really talk that much. Oh, that's too bad. Yeah. But Beth told me that she's getting over losing someone just the way I'm getting over losing someone, and she's moving on with... Antonio in the same way. I'm moving on with Beth. Oh, and Antonio calls himself Brian now. Brian? Yeah. His middle name? Why? I don't know. We didn't get into it, but... Well, look, I, you know what? 
I'm sure he'll tell us when he gets here. <laughs> <laughs> He's really coming home to us. Oh, my God. Yeah. Well, he said he would. Okay, well... Let's call him, please. I, I need to hear his voice. No, if he's not on a plane to Harmony right now, I want to know why. But we can try him at the hotel, okay? okay. Snorkeling's supposed to be great here. Hmm, sounds like fun. I always wanted to learn how to snorkel. This is the front desk. I'm sorry the party in room 229 does not answer. May I take a message? No, 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 that's all right. I left him a note. Hopefully he'll call me back. They must have already read this note and missed the trash can when they threw it out. Antonio's not answering at the hotel. Well, maybe he's on his way home. Yeah. So, well, Diana was really sick. She had a virus or something, so... I'm surprised he's not in his room, actually. Well, maybe she's recovered. <laughs> maybe. You know what? And maybe Antonio and Diana are on a plane on their way to Harmony right now. Oh, dear God, I pray that's the case. I'm actually going to see Antonio after all these years. Prayers will be answered, son. Prayers. She said it was just a daydream. I'll have you thoughts, though, I promise. I'm glad to hear it. I'm glad to hear that I'm included into your happy thoughts. Mm -hmm. You're included in my daydreams, too. Really? Oh, I just gotta chill. 
You must still be sick. I'm gonna go get you some tea, okay? Here. Hey. Put this one up. Thank you. First time since I can remember, I'm truly happy. Mijo, do you think Antonio is going to bring Diana home with him? <laughs> well, I'd be surprised if he didn't. I'm telling you, those two are pretty much joined at the hip, you know? Think of it, all my children together again. <laughs> Are you sure you're feeling better? Yeah, I'm not dizzy. But could you come in and talk to Luis? You know, try to convince him that I have a right to be here. Look, I'm sorry, Teresa, but I, I agree with your brother. I don't think you should be staying here for your sake and for the baby. Even you know our house had a lot of damage. I mean, it's not even livable. I'm sure Luis and your mother can find a place to stay. But you should listen to your brother. Wish you luck. Luis, I hope that you've calmed down. I'm perfectly calm. I see everything crystal clear. Now let's go. I'm not going. Teresa, I will carry you out if I have to. Luis, I'm not leaving. Okay, you have it your way, No, then. stop it. You will hurt the baby. Okay, Teresa. Now, stop being so stubborn and go with your brother. You know what it is? It's being pregnant. It's all these hormones are making you crazy. I'm not crazy. Teresa. Teresa, Ethan told you that he's going to appeal this case. And when he does, Ivy will probably win, and she will kick you out of this house as soon as she can. Why make it harder on yourself? Luis is right. Those two vipers, Ivy and Rebecca, are not going to let you have this house or the money or anything else. Now leave now while you still have your dignity. She's exactly right. I saw them outside when I came in. No doubt they were plotting something against you. Look, I am not worried about Ivy and Rebecca, okay? They lost once and they will lose again on the appeal. How can they possibly hurt me now? So you're sure that this videotape is Teresa's death sentence? Absolutely positive. What do you got there, Rebecca? Oh, actually, it's something that a whole lot of hard work went into. Uh, your mother's of mine, actually. Really? Well, what's on it? Oh, <laughs> nothing really. No, um, it's actually just a, a funny tape for our next college reunion. Oh, yes, everybody's just going to get a big bang out of it. Well, that sounds fun. May I see it? No, Ethan, oh, really. Oh, no, no. Uh, it's just a, a bunch of people just fooling around. You'd be bored to tears. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, um, you know, it's... Uh, don't embarrass us any further, really. How's the appeal going? Oh, well, um, I'm making progress. I'm pretty sure I can get the judge's decision overturned. Well, if you can't, then there's no justice in this world. Yeah, I agree. I still don't understand how the judge came to his decision in the first time. Doing everything you can, and I really do appreciate it, darling. Well, I, I hope I don't disappoint you, Mother. You never have, and you never will. Well, thanks for the vote of confidence. Well, sorry, but I actually came down here looking for one of my law books, but I guess I left it up in my room. I'll see you later. You have a wonderful son, Ivy. Mm -hmm. He is the most important thing in the world to me. And I will do whatever I have to do to protect him. And that means getting Teresa Lopez Fitzgerald out of his life for good. This tape will do just that. You quit talking about it and show it to me. All righty.
idea. It's just so high up. Just stay calm. Keep, keep moving. Teresa. I want her exposed for the murdering bitch that she is. 